Hello, let's try something a bit different. So I'm watching the video through and I'm gonna put a little voiceover on. Started with some toast. Um, I clearly look very impressed. Um, I then got the train to start the uh, Bath to her Tunnels Half Marathon. It's actually quite a warm day. Lots of people around, lots of waves. There was an ultra going on, a 10K, um, a half marathon, a marathon. Um, just lots of different runs. So I thought I'd do the two tunnels half as it ran through the tunnels and I was like, oh, this would be cool. And I had a friend doing the ultra. So here we are going to the start. I was in a wave that started quite late in the day, which is actually quite nice because I could get there on time on the train. Otherwise I wouldn't have done it. So we made our way in. It was quite a nice size little start. It wasn't too busy. Checking that we've all got our numbers attached. I just automatically just, if I'm doing a longer than a 10k I will no. make sure I have my hydration vest on just because I like to carry everything and it means I don't have to shove my phone in the pocket on my shorts and I can carry all the snacks so all the important things and enough water. Really well. Then had the reef briefing. Well the route is a little bit more intricate the route will also be marked with red and white tape hanging from the trees. If you see if you see any X's, then that means you are about to go the wrong way. Please do not follow these. Well, if you can't really, because there's only one and then there's nothing. So, X's, do not follow them. Arrows, you will see lots and lots where you need them in the city, but on the canal section, for example, and the river path where you're just staying on the towpath for about four. And we're off. Started out along this track, which was actually quite nice and shady. It was really hot, it was surprising. Ah, then we got to the exciting bit where I'm through the first tunnel. I don't know who this person is in front, but um, sorry for running so close to you. I got quite excited that I was in the tunnel and it was cool and just ran quicker. Before we know it, we're coming out of the tunnel and everything was super bright, we had reached two miles, I think. Then into the second tunnel, which was the longer tunnel, and um, I just really enjoyed running through the tunnels. I think it was worth signing up just to run through the tunnels with a load of other people running through. Followed these lovely people from South Africa, um, who I thought I was doing really well, and then realised they were doing the ultra, and their lovely pace... I was struggling to keep up with for my half marathon. I kind of sort of like I'm enjoying it though. Um, then we, we went off from the ultras and we just ran through this estate which was massive and very fancy. But the views are really good. Oh that lady in front, we had a bit of a chat for a bit. Um, can't remember her name though. And then we ran along the canal which it felt like we were just going in one straight line, but it obviously curved a lot. But the views were lovely, just kept going. It was nice. Hello. This is nearly seven miles into the bath, two tunnels, half marathon. We've done the two tunnels. It's very hot. Oh, I actually spoke to the camera, the only time I did. Seven miles came round quite quickly. Porcupine. Ducks and geese and. No, there's no geese, and a goat, I don't know. Those of them. Very cool little farm that mixed it up nicely. Really enjoy looking at all the different boats and everything. And we we're following these ribbons too, and there wasn't really anywhere you could go. Not like you could get lost. And then we started to get more into Bath, and we saw all the buildings.
along the canal, some locks. There were some marshals at various points and I was a bit confused at how they knew everyone's names and then realised they were just looking them up on a bit of paper. It's definitely the nicest half marathon I've done. So pretty, everything. We used to do canal holidays, we did two when we were little as a family. Great fun. Felt like I was going really fast here, I was not. I, the whole run was very slow. I did find it all very hard. And then I realised it hadn't been that long since the ultras. And I hadn't trained for it. I just signed up couple of days before. Got some more nice views along the canal. It really did make up for um, the fact it was warm and I wasn't really ready to do a half marathon. It was very pretty. And then we got into Bath. And we had to go down here, it was quite busy, to the aid station, which was also a turnaround point. Yeah, I'm good, how are you? Oh, it was very energetic, that wasn't it? Play more, Let's ride and go from here. Thank you. Uh, there's lots of different snacks. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to stay clear of the first time. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. Nearly there, not too yeah. far to go. Easy. Thank you. It's not easy. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and after we had that aid station, it just seemed to drag, and it was along this not so pretty bit of canal. Talked to a couple of people that were doing a marath the marathon once, so they were on their second loop of this. And they were all saying how hard it was, and it was harder than they thought. And it wasn't the elevation, I think it was just the heat. Maybe the elevation a bit. I don't think it was that bad. And this bit was so close to the finish. Slightly uphill. No, I don't know. I realised I was not going to get any sort of speed. I did my slowest half marathon yet. And slower than the one I did when I first started running. But it was beautiful, the people were lovely and I just had a great time. Woo, 30 miles. I don't think I need to worry about slowing down. And then I got a bit self-conscious filming, so here we're going into the finish. And actually, my friend who'd done the ultra already finished and yelled at me um, part way down. Um, and then we finished. Slowest half marathon yet, but also really enjoyable. So this is the one I got on the day. I then did a half marathon myself to get the second one. It was actually a really reasonable price, which is a good way to use up the medals rather than having loads left over. So it has the tunnel on the back and a train on the front.